Good morning. Welcome to my incredibly messy desk space. It is currently 8.03 in the morning and I thought that I would take you along for a day in my life as a full-time PhD student in theater studies. And I chose today of all days to do that because I need a little bit boost of motivation to get going. Honestly, I use making a YouTube video sometimes as like the motivation I need to get something done. I don't know if that's because of years of externally motivated working in school or what, that I need that extra little like push that I'm gonna be creating a product from this activity um, and therefore I get the activity done. But like if I wanna read a certain book that I'm intimidated to read, I'll be like, I'll make a YouTube video about it. Then I'll definitely read the book because I have to for the video. But anyways, the reason I need the extra boost of motivation this morning is because yesterday I was given the opportunity to publish in this awesome online publication. But because I found out yesterday, I don't have like a coherent draft of an article ready to go. And the deadline to submit the draft is in 10 days. So I'm going to need to complete that draft on top of everything else I have to do because I'm a teaching assistant at my university. So I have grading to get done and tutorials to prepare for. Luckily, most of my other time does go to researching and writing my PhD, and writing this article is going to directly assist in that project. So all of my PhD work time for the next 10 days is gonna go towards writing this article because it's also going to include a little bit of like extra research here and there that I still need to get done for my PhD. 8.06 a.m. now, my coffee is currently being made in the other room. I'm gonna go grab a cup of coffee and then hopefully work for a full hour before I go make some breakfast, take a bit of a break, and then work for another hour and a half or so uh, before I have an appointment I have to get to. First things first though, I would like to clean up my desk space because when things are tidy, my mind is so much tidier. So I'm gonna do that, I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, this is so tricky because like the reason that there's so much clutter all over my desk right now is a lot of these books I'm like currently working with either for YouTube projects or for my PhD and I don't like have any shelving in here besides what you already see and that's so full. Maybe I can clear up a little shelf space over there for some of my like work in progress books. Okay, I think I can do that. You know what? And those books have to go back to the library like in a couple days, so not this one. That is my book. Actually, before I put this away, I'll just just say that this morning I woke up at like 7 a.m. and I lied in bed and read for a while and I was reading this book, uh, several short sentences about writing. I think I'm gonna make a couple videos coming up about this book because it's so good. It's the best book on writing I have ever read. It's so useful in so many ways, but um, just reading like a couple pages this morning was so inspirational and like actually motivated me to get out of bed a little bit to start working on my writing because it just gets me so excited to write. <laughs> So highly recommend if you are a writer. Okay, we're looking still pretty cluttered, but we're getting there. One thing on my desk right now is this beer can because I have been saving stickers from beer cans for like the past year or so. There's a really awesome local cafe that sells sort of like Ontario sourced beer from like craft breweries. The stickers are often awesome. So I decided why not save them? So now I have this little walkthrough of all the beer that I've had in the past year, which is super fun, but I need to get this piece of recycling off of my desk, so I'm gonna take out the sticker and stick it in my journal. <laughs> There is no rhyme or reason to where I put these stickers in my journal. I just put them next to colors that they look nice with. Okay, we're clean-ish, so I'm gonna go throw this out, grab my coffee, and then we'll actually get to work on the actual work. We have our coffee. I wanna show you my beautiful mug. It says Morgan EUA, and then it has a picture of me from when I had blonde hair, juggling high heel shoes, ice cream, um, a hat, a juggling club, and a juggling ball on my unicycle. My sister-in-law designed this for me and had it made, and pink is my favorite color, so the inside is pink. Coffee just tastes better when it's coming out of a mug made with love from your sister-in-law. What I have done is grabbed a piece of Bristol board that I had lying around, and I'm gonna make this my Kanban board for 
for the next 10 days. So on the left, we have to do, in the middle we have doing, and on the right side we have done. This is how I've decided I'm going to gamify the next 10 days of writing extremeness. One YouTuber I really enjoy watching is the author Sarah Cannon. She has her like official author channel, but then she also has an author tube channel called Heart Breathings, and she does this sort of thing all the time, and it just looks so fun. So we're gonna try it this morning. I've done Kanban board type stuff before. I always like start and it's very promising, but then by the end it devolves into nothingness. So we'll see if we can keep this up for the week and that'll be another little bit of motivation because moving the little stickies across the board is task number one, come up with all the tasks. That's probably enough sticky notes to get us going for the day. I've got another half hour before I said that I was gonna go make breakfast. So that's a half hour I can put towards getting maybe one of these things done. These are probably not half hour tasks. These are probably more like hour long tasks each. I always underestimate the time that everything is going to take. Case in point, this morning, clearing off my desk and making this board took me half an hour and now I only have a half an hour to actually do the work, but that's fine. We adapt, we adjust. We make it work. Let's move a sticky to the doing and get going. Task number one is actually going to be to go through my old notes on an article that is relevant to the article that I'm writing and turn them into settlecast and notes within my obsidian, which is just a process that is taking forever and it's going to be ongoing. A lot of you have asked about how I write a paper using my settlecast in, and I haven't had enough notes to actually do that yet, but I think regardless of how many notes I have, each paper, because it's contributing fresh ideas, is always going to require first putting new notes into my Settlecaston and creating new notes and connections within the Settlecaston before I can actually like use what's in there to write the paper. I think maybe um, I will come up with like video content and blog posts and stuff like that from what's already in my Settlecaston, but to actually like conduct research or create a research paper, I think I'm always gonna have to add something new for every new paper that I go to write. That is the step that I'm on now, is just introducing the relevant notes into my Settlecaston and doing some of that thought work about how they might connect to my concept for the current paper that I'm going to be writing. So that's what we're starting with this morning. My camera died, so we have moved to my phone for now. It's nine o'clock, so I am gonna go make myself breakfast. I never skip breakfast. I get way too hungry. It's the most important meal of the day. I only got like 20 minutes of work in, but it was super productive, I think. I've only made it through like four pages of this paper, but it's sort of like an overview paper. And as I was reading the article, I was just identifying the place places in scholarship that already resonate with the article that I want to write and I've already found so much crossover that I knew existed but I really needed to just put my finger on it. That was a great success. I'm gonna keep reading this article after I go make myself some breakfast. Breakfast has been made and now it's time to get back to reading. As I was making my breakfast, I was also listening to an audiobook, which I'm very into right now. I'm listening to Razorblade Tears. It's so good. Like, I think it's going to be a five-star read for me. I'm only four or five hours in out of maybe like 11 hours, but there's already so much action. It's kind of a thriller, um, kind of a mystery. The writing is phenomenal. There's so much imagery and the character voices are so unique and distinct. So I highly recommend Razorblade Blade Tears, and I do recommend it as an audiobook. But now I'm going to eat my breakfast and probably keep reading this article as I eat. I managed to finish taking notes on that article this morning, so that is one item on my Kanban board moved over to the right-hand side, which is great. I think I can get at least one or two more stickies over there by the end of the day. I did get some news during my morning work session. I don't know if it's good news or bad news, but the deadline for my article was pushed back quite a bit, so I have some breathing room for that writing piece. That said, I'm still going to push myself to finish as much as I can in the next 
next 10 days because I have two research talks that week. So I still want to have some substantial piece of like collected research that I can share at those talks. After that, I went to my appointment and then I had lunch, which was leftovers from last night. And now it's almost two o'clock this afternoon. I'm probably going to do some, a little, a little bit of YouTube work and then a little bit of teaching work. And maybe if I have time after I'm done my YouTube and teaching stuff, I will go back and work on some of the PhD research writing stuff. We'll pull another sticky over to the center section. One or two stickies. Um, I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna do that. I managed to move two stickies over to the done side of my board between two and 3.30. And now it's quarter to four. This is about the time in the afternoon where my motivation starts waning. I'm very much a morning person, which is why when I can, I like to wake up and immediately go to my desk and start working on PhD work, like that deep work, the thought work of my PhD because that's when I still have the energy and the willpower and the motivation to sit down and do it and also enjoy it. I also like a change of scenery around this time, so I've literally just moved to my couch. It's not the best position, but I'm not gonna be here for too long. I usually finish my work day around five or 5.30, six at the latest. So I only have an hour or so left that I wanna make myself work today. And today, because I am trying to put in more hours on my PhD so that I can give those research talks and then write that article, I am going to do a bit of that work. This time though, I'm going to turn my notes from this book, which is phenomenal. It's called Thinking Through Circus. So I've already read this book and loved it. I'm going to try to turn my thoughts about this book and my notes from this book into atomic notes for my subtle casting. And when I'm doing that, I don't mean literally it's just verbatim what has been said in this book or even paraphrases. What I mean is I will read a quote and if it really resonates with me, I will start writing down why it resonates with me or with my research so that I'm actually thinking and doing research through the reading and the writing and the taking of notes. My obsidian folder is not on my laptop, but I am going to work on my laptop just so that I can get a change of scenery. And I'm just going to like put the notes into Google Keep or something and then I will just copy and paste the notes into my obsidian later in the day and then break them down into those atomic notes. So yes, that's what I'm doing for approximately the next hour hour-ish. I'll touch base with you later. I've done about 45 minutes of writing, reading, taking notes on that book, and I'm not all the way through the book. And it would have been cool to get a little farther, but I'm getting so tired. My brain just starts to melt at a certain point in the afternoon, and I can feel my eyes sort of getting heavy and my body getting a bit exhausted. And I start to notice that my productivity is declining and my ability to stay focused is going down. Like I'll reread the same sentence multiple times to try to figure out what it means or like my attention just blurs a bit as it gets later in the day so I would have liked to get more done and I finish pretty much every day wishing I got more done. It feels like so much time especially when you start at 8 a.m. and you take say an hour for lunch it feels like I should have a full four hours in the morning to get stuff done and then a full four hours in the afternoon to get stuff done and like I kind of do but you know along the way you need to get up and stretch, you need to make breakfast, you need to get another coffee, you need to answer some emails. There's just so many things going on that like I'm never gonna work for seven or eight hours a day, right? I know that logically, but somehow when I wake up in the morning and I'm all raring to go, I'm like super motivated and inspired to get to work and start writing. I set up this expectation of myself that I'm going to be able to work all day long and I'm gonna get so much done. So then when it comes to evening, when I haven't done as much as I was expecting I would do and how much I was excited to get done, I'm then ultimately disappointed in myself for not doing as much as like I, I made up, I, I didn't even 
even give it a number. I wasn't even like, I wanna get this many things done today, no. I built up my own abilities in my head so that at the end of the day, I'm disappointed in myself. Why do I do that? Do you do that? So that's where I'm at with this day. I think uh, what I need now is either a complete break where I watch Netflix, I'm on the final episode of Afterlife, or I watch some YouTube or maybe do some creative work, say editing my upcoming YouTube video, reading a book, yes because I am getting very tired. <laughs> and yes, I could keep working a bit while I do still have some energy, but honestly, it's gonna be take me a half an hour right now to do the same amount of work I could get done in five minutes tomorrow morning. I might as well just give my brain a break and get myself that rest and relaxation time in so that I am fresh to work tomorrow and then do that work tomorrow. It's fine, take a break, that's important. That is productive, it gives your brain brain arrest so that it can get more done in the future. So that's what I'm gonna do. Take a little break from academic work and do something else. That was a day in my life as a PhD candidate. In the evening, I watched The Atom Project on Netflix and I got takeout for dinner and had some ice cream. And that was my whole day. Was that the most boring day in the life video you've ever watched? Very probably. So why do I share this video then? In my experience, a PhD in the humanities can be very isolating. I know when I started my PhD, I turned to other PhD YouTubers to watch their daily and weekly vlogs so that I could see how other people were coping with this giant task ahead of them, writing the dissertation, and what exactly that entailed on a day-to-day -day basis. There's no right way to get through your day. This is just how my days tend to go. Probably the best thing and the worst thing about doing a PhD for me right now is the the flexibility I have in how I spend my time. I can schedule an appointment during the day, during the week if I want. I can take breaks whenever I need them. I love to run and I can do that whenever I choose to, but it also means that I have to have so much self-discipline and so much willpower and so much self-direction in my learning and my writing, and there isn't necessarily a guidebook for how to do those things. Yes, there are some books that help, and I will link some that I've read below, like How to Write Your Dissertation in 15 Minutes a Day, or Umberto Eco's How to Write a Thesis, but for a lot of us, this is just a solo endeavor and we have to make our own way in what works for us and figure out what that is as we go along. And it took me a while to get to the point where I could just sit down and work for a couple hours at a time and had something that looks like a schedule for my writing and my research. So if you're able to work more than me in a day or less than me in a day, that's all fine. Whatever works for you and gets your dissertation done is the thing that you should be doing. Some days I work a lot less than that, and some days I work a lot more than that, and I have a couple techniques that I use throughout my day to keep me on task, like setting up my space, lighting a candle, making my office an inviting space to be in, for instance, varying the tasks that I'm completing throughout the day, including ones that take less brain effort, like editing YouTube videos, and indeed, as I said at the beginning of this video, doing things like making a video of my myself doing the thing to encourage me to do the thing. If you have to make a video, even if it's just all for you to motivate yourself to get to work, then by all means, do that. <laughs> Anyways, I hope this video helped you in some way, or at least it was entertaining, and best of luck in your PhD studies. I'll see you in another video soon.